I had this really, really long dream, so let's see what I can remember. But basically, I was in some kind of school, and this was a really big school, and I was just going around the school, observing everything, and you know, the, the kids and what they was doing and the teachers and the cl the school work was unlike any regular school work. Like, I can explain it. It was regular classrooms, but they had them doing a bunch of like exercises and it was Christian exercises and some of the classes had them go outside of the the classroom and and do because it was massive hallways like I can't even explain how big these hall the hallways was big enough to put a classroom in it and even bigger really and they had the class go out in the hallway and like do stand up exercise like almost like exercise but it was mixed with learning. It was an exercise mixed with learning. And it was teaching them different scriptures was being learned. And well, not necessarily being learned, but being said. Like they knew the scripture already, but they were saying it. And they was using it to learn different things. It's, it's hard to explain. And so... In the dream, I went to the office, and I, they had an office, just like a regular school would have an office. And I was, I was just really looking around. I don't know what I was. I, I didn't know if I was a teacher, a student, or what. And I was just looking at everybody, and the kids was even volunteering for extra activities, like you know, like how school has extra programs outside of of the class and they was just volunteering for different things and to do you know different things with the teacher like it was a teacher who was asking them that they want to join in her after school program and a lot of them were saying yeah and they was joining in and I was looking at it and I was seeing if I wanted to join in like I said, I don't know if I was a student or, or what. I was really just looking around. And so I, but the kids was in different classrooms and everything. But I'm just walking around freely looking at this school. And I, I looked at this after school program and I was like, oh, that's nice. And what they had them, you know, doing, it was like, like I said, it was, and, it, and I say exercise, but it was some kind of routine that they was learning, like a, a dance routine or exercise routine. I felt like it was an exercise routine and they were saying scriptures. It was really fun and they was learning doing that. And the classrooms was fun. Like not just sitting there bored, bored, you know, they was doing fun exercises, but it wasn't like teaching. Like we have classrooms that just sit there and teach. It was interactive and just fun things to do. And in the classrooms, I saw things on the wall that students had made and, you know, papers, just like a regular classroom. And I saw women teachers. I saw men teachers. And I saw the majority, I saw women teachers, but there was also men teachers. And I'm just, you know, just thinking in my head right now as I'm seeing them. And the kids was different age groups I felt like I was in a grade school definitely this was like grade school aged kids and as I'm I'm walking around I see this guy with black hair and glasses on and he had on the hat and as soon as I looked at him I said I know that guy and I said what's what's his name is it Christopher Reeves I couldn't remember his name but then I knew he was the guy that starred in Smallville. And like he was the actor from Smallville. And as soon as I walked past him, 
my spirit said he's a Christian. And then he 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 wondered if I spotted him because he didn't want people to know who he was. And I kept um, walking as if I didn't really recognize him. And then I ran into him again because I came. I was still looking around the whole school and I came that way and I ran into him and I told him I know who he was. And he was like, oh, I didn't want anybody to recognize me because he he was a celebrity. And he didn't want them to to be coming to him and, you know, talking to him about that part of his life. He didn't want to deal with that. And he was a teacher. He was one of the teachers. And I said, and I told him, no, I, I was like, that's not what it, what concerned me. I, I wasn't thinking about that. I said, I was, I was shocked that you was a Christian. I said, as soon as I walked past you, my spirit said, he's a Christian. And I said, I was really shocked by that. Now, in reality, I don't know anything about this guy's life. And the only thing I know is, is this is the guy from Smallville that plays Superman. And all I know is the guy that played his dad, he plays in a ton of Christian movies. So he definitely, and really good Christian movies, some of the best ones I've ever seen. So, but the, the one that plays Superman, I don't know anything about him being a Christian ever. You know, I don't really know his acting career or nothing. So I was really shocked about that. And I was telling him, I was like, I was just really surprised that you was a Christian. So if this guy's a Christian for real, I have no idea. So anyway, um, I walked past him and then I saw my brother. I saw one of my brothers and and he looks so young. I mean, right now he's like 40. Yeah, I'm 43, so he's he's just turning 40. So, um but in the dream he looked like he was back like really young, like maybe 15, 16 years old, just really really young. And he looked so good, his skin was so clear and he he just looked so handsome and you know back really young and I I said to him I was so happy to see him and I said his name which I'm not gonna say right now and I was like wow I'm so happy to see you and I said what's going on and then he he um I I when I was talking to him for some reason I I was um like squatting I had squatted and like I was so happy I hugged him then I just squatted down you know how you just kind of fall out. Cause you so happy to see somebody and I was like in a squatting position and then he came down and sat on the floor to talk to me and he he looked at me and he and and um he said it's time to draw blood I, he said it's time to draw blood it's time to go for blood and and then in the dream I wanted to remember it so I took out a notepad and a pen and I wrote it down what he said and I was like, I got to remember this. I got to remember this. And I had a knowing that in real life, that it was a message that I needed to give him that he would understand. Because in the dream, I didn't understand what this message meant, but I knew he would. I know this message will mean something to him. And it was for it was a message for him. But um, basically, this dream, I believe what I was shown was some kind of heavenly grade school. And enough, I, I don't know if I said this, but some of the kids had on, they had on uniforms, school uniforms. And I can even still see them in my mind. It was like a grayish blue color. And it was really pretty. I'm saying it grayish blue, maybe not sound that pretty, but it was actually, it was a, it was a color unlike anything I've ever seen, really. That's why it's hard to explain. It was like a grayish, bluish, which like the main colors, but like whitish and Red, it was almost like a marble color, but not marble because marble you can see distinct colors. But these uniforms almost was like they was glowing, like, like you know, how a person that can draw I can't draw, but I've seen people draw the sun and they'll draw like one color in the middle and you know, different colors around it and make it look like the sun is glowing. That's how these uniforms kind of look like, and so anyway. And they, there was no cleavage showing and they came down to like right below the knee, but the, the bottom part, and I'm thinking, I'm looking at the girl, I'm talking about the girls uniforms 
and a bot and a lot of the students was, was girls as well. I was just sitting there thinking about that. And um a lot of the programs I saw a lot of girls. Um but I saw women and I saw men. And it was it was boy students as well, but maybe I saw girls because of the type of class that it was or the after school programs that it was. I don't know, but I saw I saw boy children as well. I did, but I saw a lot of girls and I saw um majority of the teachers I saw was was that I saw was female. Even in the office I saw female and I but I did see I remember just distinctively seeing one male teacher and then the other guy that was from Smallville, he was gonna be a teacher as well. So I don't know, it just seemed like it was a lot more females though that that was there than men. And um I don't know what that means, you know. Maybe, you know, I don't know, because these grade school kids, but maybe it was just the classes I was looking at. I don't know. But anyway, back to the uniforms. There's no cleavage showing. The bottom of the uniform, you know how, like, they have these these pleated, the bottom was pleated, just like a you know, regular school uniform that I've seen, except the school uniforms today are, like, flat and boring looking. These was, like... Like they had a petticoat underneath them almost. Like it was some kind of, it was ruffles underneath them. Ruffles. Like a petticoat. And it was very, very pretty. Very pretty. They had white socks and they had um, the uh, shoes. Like like regular, what you would think, regular school shoes with a lace around it. And um, it was, the kids was having so much fun. They they had even came up to me in a dream when I was looking around and like, you want to join this after school program? And I was like, oh, it looks like a lot of fun. And I mean, they was just having a blast. And I think that God wanted me to just see the the school. Now, I'll be honest, this is not the first time he showed this to me. I already had another dream where he showed me my, my daughter's, uh, my oldest daughter was in a heavenly college. And I never posted that dream because... The reason I didn't post it is because the youngest one, my youngest daughter, already talked about the Heavenly College. So I said, well, I'm not going to post it. But now that I had this dream, to me, it's confirmation that God wants me to to go ahead and post those dreams anyway. So I'm going to post this one and then I need to go find that one that I already recorded and release that one as well. But I guess he maybe because to me. When my daughter had her dream, she's a kid. She's a little kid. You know, God, I believe God gives these things to kids so they can be more believable. I believe my daughter's dream 100%. She's extremely prophetic. She's not making up her heavenly dream. So I didn't I didn't feel the need to have to add in on to that and, and tell the dreams that I've had that have confirmed her dream. I didn't feel her dream needed confirmation. But... Um, Maybe somebody else out there needs to needs to hear this confirmation that this these things are true. They are heavenly schools. So, and I I actually had saw the heavenly college before my daughter even saw it, and I did do a dream um, video already of the heavenly college that I had a long time ago that I had first, and then she saw it, then I saw it again, and now I'm seeing a heavenly grade school. And as far as that guy from Smallville being a Christian, I don't know if he's a Christian or not. I have no idea. I can't judge him. I don't know his life at all. But I will say, please lift him up in prayer. Okay, I have to add this part after I told my brother the part where I saw him in the dream. In the dream, he was also wearing a black jacket and it had a bull on it. And after I recorded the dream, at first I thought it meant some kind of sports team, but it was just a bull. And when I told him the dream and I told him what he said, because his exact words were, it's time to draw blood. It's time to go for blood. It's time to draw blood. It's time to go for blood. And he was wearing a jacket with the bull. He immediately, I mean, he, I don't even think a whole second went by. He immediately said that it was confirmation of something that the Lord had been telling him. And that the bull, he said, a bull, when it sees a target, it goes after it 
It doesn't let any distractions or anything around. And I cannot preach the way he was preaching it. I mean, he was preaching. He went off preaching instantly when I told him this dream. And he was talking about how God is drawing him. He said that it's time uh, to draw blood. It's time to go for blood. It's just God telling him to really go deep, to really get serious about his salvation and to really give it all he has to, you know, do what he needs to do to be a hundred percent for the Lord. And so, uh, and to do it like a bull, you know, don't let anything distract him. Don't, you know, let any, you know, any people distract him, see the target, hit the target, make the target. So he, it was amazing. And I just wanted to add that part.